I did that for a number of years. Thank, oh, thank you. One or two. Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. What about, uh, what's the Rugrat one? Yeah, I was Reptar on Rugrats. Yeah. Reptar. And whenever the kids were watching TV, I was the one saying, the dummy bears will be back in a moment. Or whatever. Chocolate, chocolate cheese. Um, so that was a lot of some, oh, good, one over here. That's good. But yeah, I, I had a career for 10 years in cartoons and commercials. I did a ton of commercials. Try Lee, the brand that fits. Coldwell Banker, AT&T. This week at Ralph's Red Delicious Apple, 69 cents. I did tons of commercials. And uh, then 20 years ago, I had the opportunity to audition for my first movie trailer. And uh, it was pretty exciting because it was something I always wanted to do. And, I, and there was only like five guys doing movie trailers in the whole country. And they decided that uh, they wanted to try somebody new, so I went into this audition, and I was for a movie called In Dreams. I met Benning, Robert Downey Jr., In Dreams. Anyway, I did that, and then they were all like, what's going on? And I could see what they were saying through the glass. So I said, is everything okay? And they said, yeah, we're just wondering, where the heck have you been? And uh, I said, is that good? They said, yeah, that's very good. And that was my first movie trailer. And uh, I've done movie trailers almost every day since that day. Well, which last is crazy. week when you were here, you said you did about eight jobs that day. Yes. Yeah. Today I had one. One. Okay. <laughs> yeah, today was a slow day. So what was today? Today was ABC. Um, the sharks are in a frenzy. Shark Tank tonight on ABC. So that's what I did today. I did a bunch of commercials for me. It's the premiere of Shark, the two hour premiere of Shark Tank. Uh, no, you know what? I did one other job today. Um, what did I do today? I think I might have printed it out. Let's see. Oh, I can't. Is this unbelievable? Uh, what are some of the like, other characters? Did you do something more than Rugrats and Aquaman? And you know, I played occasional, like I'd be the, you know, I'd go to Hanna-Barbera and they'd want me to be the guard, you know, you kids get out of here, <laughs> oh, you know, or whatever, you know, but uh, those were the main ones, and then I just did, you know, literally thousands of commercials over the years, and then I got to, oh, today I did Thor Ragnarok, Thor, Marvel, Thor Ragnarok. This film contains scenes and language that may be inappropriate for youth leaders. Look at this, Walt Disney Pictures. So this is what they send you. This this has literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like twelve words. Yeah. You get paid like a thousand dollars a word. Uh, well, I'm going to show you something. If you, if you think it's all easy, you no, think it's I don't all think it's easy, easy at all. I just think it's awesome Love that. You can make an incredible living in your underwear. Let me show you. <laughs> Doug, I'd like you to read this uh, little piece here. This is for a new movie called Suburbicon. It's the new, uh, which I did yesterday. This is the new uh, Coen Brothers film starring Matt Damon, directed by George Clooney. And when I looked at the trailer, I got freaked out because I thought, that neighborhood looks super familiar. So I went online to see where they shot it, and they shot it in the, the, the neighborhood that I grew up in. Oh, no kidding. They shot it on Ash Street in Fullerton, and I grew up on Oak. So the one street up, which is so funny because the whole crew was there. And this is, this is a- You know, Kathy and I went to the movies this weekend, and this is a Matt Damon yeah. movie. Did you see the trailer? I saw the trailer, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, There's no voice in the trailer, but I'm doing the TV camera. Okay, so I'll do the I'll do the first line. We'll see who does it better. <laughs> Critics are raving. Suburbicon is brilliant. It will reel you in and keep you hooked until the end. It's terrific, terrifically. What's that word? Terrifically. Oh. <laughs> terrifically. <laughs> terrifically. Is, it, is it spelled right? It's spelled correct. <laughs> <laughs> It's terrifically twisted and wildly entertaining. Okay, yes. you go. See if you do any better. Critics are raving. Suburbicon is brilliant. It will reel you in and keep you hooked until the end. It's terrifically twisted and wildly entertaining. Suburbicon is 
engaging and provocative, stylish and funny, visually rhythmic, diabolically clever, hilarious. Oscar Isaac is brilliant, a delicious Hitchcock homage. The most thrilling and entertaining movie since Fargo. I don't, was that thrilling and entertaining? <laughs> Director George Clooney has brought us the best Coen Brothers movie in years. Director George Clooney is a force to be reckoned with. Suburbicon is dark, witty, and lovable in all the right ways. Julianne Moore gives an Oscar-worthy performance. This is way too much copy for one lot. commercial, isn't yeah. it? Um, it will make your heart race. You'll laugh till it hurts. Suburbicon. Okay, so t walk us through like a day. What's a day in the life of Scott Rommel? So I have no idea uh, if I'm going to work that day or not. And everybody thinks this is, life. is so crazy. <laughs> like, um, like Hollywood works last minute on everything. And like, um, they'll, they'll want to see new spots, and so they'll call the production house that's cutting the trailers, and they'll say, we need three new spots. And so then they start writing the spots. When they think they have the spots mostly done, they'll call me, or they'll call my agent. My agent calls me and says, you need to get in the booth in 15 minutes. And literally, the scripts are arriving as they're connecting to my booth. I work from home. We now use um, something called an ISDN connection. So it's a full broadcast quality connection from my house, which saves me, literally, I was driving 40,000 miles a year when I was going to Hollywood from studio to studio to studio. So now I can work from home, and uh, a lot of people work in their underwear at home, but I, in, I'm pretty uncomfortable in underwear, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Aquaman is naked. <laughs> oh, by the way, I still haven't figured out what Aquaman's complete power list is. Does anybody here know? It appears that he can fly, he can talk to fish, he can really, I, there's, 